you've made some cards in Dextrous and now you really want to put the backs on the cards. How do you do that? In this tutorial, I'll show you your options. You've actually got four options. I'm in a project here that I'm working on. I've got my card fronts here and I can actually toggle the backs by clicking this button over here. I can edit the backs um, by double clicking on these cards that will go to the backs or I can go up to the menu and hit edit card backs or I can actually click the back here. So I'm on this front of the component, I can click the back and I can go to the backs here. So there's a few ways to get there, but what are our options once we're here? If you look in that same menu, if you look under back type, there's four different options. The first one is really simple. It's shared image. And that's kind of what it sounds like. It's a single image. So if you want, you can just select a single image to use as the backs for your card. So if I select any of these, you'll see it's actually applying it to the whole deck there. The second option is kind of similar. It's the same thing, except this time you can choose unique images. So this is going to give us a whole column here. So my first image is that one, and I can go along and I can select different images for each card. So that's the second option. The third option you have here is to make a shared layout back. So you can think of this as a dynamic image. So if I click that, it's actually going to give me a little warning there just saying, am I happy to just lose all that stuff I typed in for the unique images? In this case, yes, I am happy to. Um, if I just delete this image, this is the default layout. This is how it looks. This is how the layout looks. And it's a dynamic image because I can change the zones as you would a normal card. So it's like one card but it's on the back of my whole deck. The advantage here over a normal image is you can edit it. A shared layout back can be a good option if you want to quickly make changes to a layout and maybe use it across multiple components, for example. So I've got my good characters here. Um, they've got the good word on the back and I want to use the same layout for my bad characters here. So I can actually go to the back for my bad characters. I don't want an image though. I want that same shared layout. So if I click this, it's going to grab the last layout that was associated with this, which happened to be this one. I was editing it before, but you can actually switch it here. So you can come back to switch back layout and you can actually scroll down and select a different layout, for example. So I could select this guy and this would be the layout here, but I want to select the same one that I had before. So yep, I'd go here, switch back layout, so I want to grab that same one that I had for my good characters. So this one, but instead of X, Y, Z, I want bad on there. And so you can see that's kind of handy because now I can print these off and my bad characters will have bad on the back. My good characters will have good. And if I make a change to the layout, it will be reflected on all of them. And if you zoom in here, you can actually see that's the preview there. The fourth and final kind of back is the most complex, and that is, of course, unique backs. So if I change this to unique backs, that's like what we had before, except instead of having one card go across all the backs, you automatically get one back for each card in your component, and you can go along here and you can make changes to each one. So this is how you get unique card backs um, for each card in your deck. Don't forget, of course, you can switch the layout here and actually get a new layout if you want that for the backs. When you go to export this, so I'm gonna hit export up here. Um, I'm gonna export my good characters and my bad characters just to show you how that looks. And I'll export these components. I've ticked these two, I'll hit export. And this will take me to the export screen and my cards will be laid out here. Now I've got quite a few cards, but if I go up to page setup and just check that card backs is ticked, I should be able to scroll down and see my backs laid out properly on the page. And they are all ready to export.